Hello, and thanks for considering the case comments and timer solution utilizing Lightning Web Components. In this video, we'll walk through different aspects of this component, so let's jump right in. The case comments and timer solution has two components, namely case timer and case comments. Depending upon your need, you can use either of the components on the case page. They are independent of each other. The case timer component aims to simply and accurately capture time spent on cases by automatically capturing time spent on a case with an ability pause and start the timer, allowing users to make any manual adjustments to the time value captured by the component, allowing users to capture any notes related to adjusted time, and finally displaying the aggregated time spent on a case. The case comments component aims to provide an easy way to create and search comments and it also comes with a built-in timer. Let's first take a look at the case timer component. As you can see, the timer is automatically capturing time spent on this case. The timer increments in seconds. Users also have the ability to pause the automatic timer by simply clicking this pause button. You'll notice that the timer is now paused. You can easily resume the timer by clicking the start button. Now, once you are done working on the case, you can insert any adjusted minutes, positive or negative, to capture the total time accurately. For example, say you spent 20 minutes working on some offline activities. You can capture that time in the adjusted minutes section. You also have the ability to capture any notes pertaining to the adjusted minutes. In this specific case, I'm going to say offline work. Finally, I'll go ahead and hit submit, and you'll see that the time value is now saved to the case record. You'll be able to see this value in the related list as well. You'll also see the total time spent on the case under this total case time label. Both of these values will be made available once you refresh the case page. Now, let's take a look at the case comments component. Here, you are able to capture case comments in a test box. You have the ability to publish these case comments by simply selecting the publish checkbox. You'll also notice that this subcomponent comes with the timer functionality embedded to it. Let me go ahead and add some adjustment minutes before saving these case components. You see here that the case comments and the time value are both successfully saved against the case record. You will also see that any case comments um, are also displayed in the case feed in the bottom. We are, like I mentioned, we are also able to publish these case comments. Let me go ahead and simply add some more case comments, make some more adjustments, and mark these case comments as published. Go ahead and submit. You'll notice that the published case comments are now available in my case feed. The published and non-published case comments are color coded. Finally, the case comments component also gives the users the ability to search for case comments. So if I go ahead and look at the case comment that I just posted, I am able to search using the simple search box. Now let's look at the related list section of this case. If I go ahead and hit the related list, you will see that I have all my timer records attached to this case. You would be able to see the automatic time that was captured, the adjusted time, and the total time, and any comments that were captured as part of the component. Finally, if I go and I look at the uh, component setup, you will see that both the case timer and the case common components are available in the case page layout. Just like any standard components, you can position them anywhere on the page. And that's it. Thank you for your time. And I hope you will find this extremely useful.